Today we're looking at some tiny valuable toys that you can find all over the place. These are something that can get you a ton of money if you know what to look for. <laughs> Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at some vintage toys. Most of these are small, they're tiny, they are things that were very cheap when they first came out. Now what we're talking about today are vintage Marx figures. Now we're going to center in on some of the toy soldier type mostly, but I will show you some other ones that can go for some pretty darn good money. Now many of them too can come in different sizes, so there are many different sizes, constructions, and styles. Not all of them are marked. Now a large percentage of the ones from the 1950s and up are marked. You can find their marking on the bottom like you can see here. Now a large chunk of those you can find in the 1950s and before may not have their mark on them. Let's show you right now the value on some of these individual figures as well as the sets they came in, where else you can find them, and some other values from many other different lines of Marx figures. Now we find Marx figures all over the place. I've scored them at thrift stores, flea markets, church sales, definitely estate sales, local live auctions, antique malls. Geez, I can source them pretty much anywhere. I've found them at garage sales in the past. Some individual figures are extremely rare, like this Superman one here. This is probably from the 40s, late 40s, early 50s. He went for hundreds of dollars, well over $500. And it's a small, tiny little figure. Now, he is not the only one that's rare. There are many different figures of various types that were released in limited quantity or, or were only available in specific sets or releases. And this is a Napoleon figure similar to the U.S. president sets that Marx did make back in those days. Now, Marx was the predominant toy maker for a very long time. They made him for TV shows, movies, cartoons, comic books, you name it, they made him. Now, Tiny Kins was one of their lines as well. It pretty much covered any cartoon or, or character you could imagine. Now, this is from Gunsmoke. This was a whole playset. This is a figure very specific. This is Miss Kitty. Most figures of her goes for some pretty darn good money. As you can see, this one went for almost 250 bucks with 23 bids. Here's another one from Gunsmoke. This is Chester. Same line, same toy size, same everything. This one went for almost 230 bucks. So the value is there in some of these individual tiny little figures. Here's Matt Dillon, also from Gunsmoke. Most of the figures from some of these were only available, as I said, in certain sets. And this is one of the scarcest ones. This one looks like it's a four-in-one, probably a Mexican version. You will find different versions of these in different countries. You also find them in different colored plastics. Sometimes they could be hard plastic or soft plastic as well. Now, the king of all of these tiny toy soldier-sized figures is Johnny Ringo. He sells for the most religiously every single time he gets up. This one did go for $1,600. Even in not so great condition, I have seen him sell for 1000 easily. Here's just another example again of the very same Johnny Ringo figure as well for $1,600. He always sells and he always sells for top dollar. Again, it's a small, tiny, 54 millimeter tall figure. Now, as I said, they delved into all sorts of styles of figures. Comic books like these Marvel superhero figures here, Captain America, Spider-Man, Hulk, Daredevil, extremely scarce, well sought after. They also made them for monsters, universal horror, all of those sorts of things. Any of these can go for some pretty decent money. 250 bucks for this lot of five figures here. Now, back when I was a child, in the back of most comic books, you could buy this exact set here. You would send away for it, and you would get it in the mail. Some of the sets could have been bought at Sears and some of the department stores as well. This is probably one of the biggest sets. It's huge in comparison to many of the other things you will run into. It had an elevator in there, multiple floors, figures, vehicles, plants, Soldiers from both sides, ropes, ladders, embankments, all sorts of different things. This is a monster-sized set. 
These go for four or five hundred bucks easily with the box and everything in there. There are some extra sets that you could have bought to go along with this as well, and those will sell for some big bucks also. Now, just like many other toys that you could buy specific versions at specific places, say Sears or JCPenney's, this is actually one that was available through Sears, and this is a Sears store playset. You could actually pretend you were running your own Sears store with uh, appliance departments, toys, sports department, appliances of all sorts. It came with pretty much everything. So it's a full, complete set. There's counters with it, fully loaded with toys and uh, groceries and all sorts of different things on it. This is a massive, big set. Rather interesting set. It's fairly scarce. Again, it was only available through Sears. JCPenney's made similar ones as well. This one sold for 900 bucks. Now here's the Captain Gallant Foreign Legion playset. This is another specific character. You can find them in comic books and the whole works. You can see the broad range of different pieces that went with some of these. Now, some of these sets had cardboard constructed buildings. Some had tin constructed buildings. This one is a fort. It's not put together. They've just got the pieces laying down there, though. They'll hunt down the individual pieces and put a set together because they will almost always go for more money that way. Plants, greenery, the palm trees, everything. This is what they made for a complete set. And this one always goes for hundreds of dollars, as you see here. TV shows, as I said, like the Flintstones were extremely popular. And this is the Flintstones play set in the box. Tons of different figures, as you can see. Houses, huts, rock buildings, the whole works. There are some bigger items that went with some of these sets that you could buy separately also. You can see the characters, Fred Flintstone, all of the, the folks from the series you could get in the set as well. And with the box, it went for $282.77 plus shipping. Now, even just the cardboard box and the paper bags that the stuff came in will sell for some good money. These are labeled. This is what was in each one of these. When these were shipped out, the individual figures were dumped in little bags like this, as were the parts. You had to put together some of the sets as well, like the buildings and all, but the figures were all separated in these packages here. Just the packages in the empty box sold for 364 bucks. again, plus shipping. Everybody wants to put a complete set together, and the only way to do that is to find these bags here. A complete set with all the bags, all the accessories, could go for $1,200, $1,400, $1,500 in many cases. Hence, that's why the price of this type of material goes for so much money. Now, some figures from Marks are confusing to some folks. This is not marked on the bottom. You probably will not see the word Marks on it. It's more of a rubber figure. It usually looks dirty like this. These were only available in a very specific set. There are tons of these seated figures, too, for all sorts of different TV shows, comics, cartoons, and the whole works. Now, the figure we just showed you actually came with this car. This set here sold for 650 bucks. Most of the time, you're only going to find the tin car or only the figure. But either one will sell for some pretty darn good money, as you see. Now, even some of the smaller figures can be found in these sets, these vehicle sets here. So every time I run into just the vehicle, I always look around to see what else may be around there. The canopies were fabric in many cases. You had these set. Again, there is the paper bag that these figures came in. Most of the earlier marks have two small holes on the bottom. Some of them, as I said, from the 50s and before may not be marked marks. They also made a ton of commemorative sets. They released them all over the globe, so you will find these in many different countries. One country may have one specific color or construction, while another country may have something different. You can see this perfect example here of the royal family. Many of these, again, you can find separately, individually. And this set here is sold in Canada for over 203 U.S. dollars. Now, one of my personal favorite Marx lines was Johnny West. I remember having tons of these as a child. What I thought was in the neatest is they could hold guns, and they came with a ton of accessories. Badges, pants, clothes, hats, horses, buildings, you name it, they made it for them. Carriages and all sorts of different things. There's instruction sheets. This is the beat-up box that Johnny West would have come in. Now, he on his own isn't worth a fortune, but you can see this box version set again of a very common toy went for $154. They even have anniversary modern-day versions of these that have been released that are nearly identical to the original, so you do have to be a little careful. 
Now, Mark's also made Stony Smith, other characters tied to the Johnny West size and construction. These were also extremely popular because, again, they have a ton of accessories, as you can see here. Some of them were painted when they were sold. Some were not. You can see a few what looks like M16s there. One's painted. One is not. This is typically what you run into. Figure-wise, they're not in the best condition, but this is a Sears Jeep set. And this, I do believe, was only available through Sears. And as you can see, it sold for 265 bucks. Now, the two we just looked at came out in the 60s and 70s, and they also did tie-ins to TV shows like The Rat Patrol, a very popular 1960s TV show. They made trading cards for it, action figures of various types, like these two here that sold for 220 bucks. Now, here's just one more tie-in just to give you another example. This is Haas from Bonanza. It's still in the box, and it still has most of the actual original stuff that came with it. Now, there are reproductions of many of the Mark's toys. Not only reproductions, but many people will recast them themselves in their garage. They will try to reproduce some of the scarcer figures. Now, a large many of these folks are just doing them as recasts because people like recasts, but they can fool the novice pretty much any time you run into them. They're nearly identical to the originals. The only real difference sometimes is just the type of plastic or the color used in general. You have to know the difference between the modern day releases as well, so be careful out there. Now if you find them in the box, that's a totally different story because the original boxes, you just can't fake that age, that construction to them at all. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. What does a youngster look for in a Christmas toy? Fun, excitement. What do you look for? Same thing, of course, plus something else. Call it value. Here's a brand new toy that has both. The new Texaco jet fuel truck. Looks just like the real trucks you see at airports. It's built big and rugged, so your youngster can ride on it. And an exclusive steering mechanism makes it the most maneuverable toy truck you've ever seen. It's hard to outgrow a toy that's as much fun as this. But what about value? Well, the Texaco jet fuel truck is built of heavy gauge steel and made with a beautiful eye for detail. Best of all, it costs $4.98, though it compares to trucks costing two and three times as much. Charge it on your Texaco credit card. It's a great Christmas present for any boy or girl. And it's only at Texaco, where for fine quality products, trust your car to the man who wears the star.